Well, listen on, friends, folks. We're back to Iron Church. Took a two-day rest. Just really needed it. And I want to thank all y'all that pray for Cubby. Um, her fever seems to be broken. Just got her Tylenol, getting her rest, and fixed to go eat some chicken in my mother-in-law's here shortly. As always, what the Lord brings your way in my heart and out of my mouth. For I am his messenger, bringing you golden apples in a silver basket. From the bread of life itself. What we're going to have... We have Psalm 32, and we're going to go 6 through 8. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, for that they may not drown in the flood waters of judgment, for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Might as well go with the last verse. And 9 says, Do not be like a senseless horse or mule, that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. You know, when you have the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible in your heart, it comes out of your mouth. It's only gonna guide you along the best pathway to your life, as it says, and it's gonna guide you beyond this flesh to the eternal life that awaits you in the kingdom of heaven. There's a mansion waiting for you. All the ones that you love, that accepted Nadakalakosha, Jesus Christ, to be the one and only son of Goha, great God Almighty, and we're led by the Spirit, you're going to be reunited with them. You know, how awesome is that? To be reunited, first, with the invincible one of victory, great God Almighty, and then to your people. You know, that, that's what brings me joy, knowing that all my disobedience is forgiven, so for him I am living. And trust me when I tell you that falls short, there's no one perfect, but we can seek his pathway to perfection by reading his word and applying it in life. Now 50, I'm getting better. Ain't perfect, but getting better. Okay, so what we got here, we're doing some John Metal's back action. This is pretty much almost like a Romanian deadlift, but he says it's a rack pull. And I thought, well, how do I make that rack pull? So, and I thought a little bit more about it, and I was like, okay. He did his different when he came up chest is nice and puff, stand tall, bang. It's almost like a Romanian dealer because he says here below the knees and then just rack it out. Well, we got 230 on here. I was wanting to go real heavy on a and try and beat 503, but then when I came out here, things changed up to do a bodybuilder workout. So, variation it is. Here we go. <sighs> oh yeah, I feel real good. <sighs> Coming to a stop. Pop burned up to simulate that rack pool. Shout out to my awesome sister, Cuz Shawanakwe, sister Native Way, Ophelia Del Rosa, Victoria, praying for Judy. And shout out to Dave Aiken. Y'all son Morgan. <sighs> My hotch, John Kemp, and his brother. And uh, how about good old Frank the Tank Thomas, my big awesome cousin who made me tough. And Donna Harris. <sighs> Be blessed to your journey.